myself. Come here for real. All right. So I wrote, I wrote down today 10 ways to build your character. So number one for me was sobriety. You have to keep your body clear, your energy clean, and you have to keep a clear mind. Number two is treat others how you would like to be treated. So when you're talking to someone, think of how you would want someone to talk to you, how you would want someone to treat you, the respect that you would want from others. Number three is don't speak ill of others. So a lot of I'll leave that alone. But don't don't go around other people talking poorly about other people, gossiping and spreading rumors and lies and stuff like that. Four, always choose happiness over anger. Some people don't realize that Happiness is a choice just as well as anger. So always try to look at the brighter side of things and don't let anger keep you from being happy. Number five is be dedicated to your commitments. Or you can say your craft but whatever it is that you plan to do, once you plan to do it, be dedicated to it. Make it a must, make it something you have to do. This is how to build character by being dedicated to your commitments, by committing fully and dedicating your time every day to your commitments. Six is have a vision. Have a vision of how you plan to help your community and the world around you. Have a vision of the person you're going to become. What you're going to offer to the world. Number seven is Take action to overcome fear. So if you're afraid of something, but you feel it in your heart that it's right, take action, regardless of the fear. Do it anyways. And that's how you'll build character. That's how you'll be able to act more and get more out of life. Number eight is don't be a slave to materialism. Yeah, you need a certain amount of money to survive and eat and be clothed, but don't be a slave to material things. Live life as to build character, as to strengthen who you are, not to brag and boast about how much money you have or clothes or phones or TVs or cars. Be committed to building character. And let the material things not have an effect on who you are. Number nine is listen to your inner teachings. So that means 
take time to understand who you are and where you're coming from and what it is that you feel is right. Learn by understanding why you reacted to certain situations that day and teach yourself how to become the person you know you truly are. Listen to yourself to know what you need to do. And number 10 is live for your higher power. So the higher power you believe in, whether it's God, Allah, Buddha, science, the universe, whatever it is, have that in mind when you go throughout your day. Have it on your have it on your mind. Become the higher power within yourself. Do what you think your higher power would expect of you. Have faith in the higher power. Have faith that your higher power wants more out of you, wants you to become more, wants you to become great. You have this expectation for yourself. So why wouldn't a higher power have a higher purpose for you? So live for your higher power. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, go ahead and write them down below in the comment box. Have a good day. Much love.